Yo, yo, what's going on, Unorthodox Gang? Matter of fact, you know what? Hold up. Before I continue, instead of Unorthodox Gang, we go on Dox Gang now, because Unorthodox has way too many syllables and it takes too long to say. So now it's Dox Gang, DG. So yeah, we're, we're Dox Gang now. All right, Dox Gang in the building. But uh, yeah, today we're gonna be doing a new type of video. It's not gonna be a tutorial on making beats, but um, it's gonna be on how I get my dark skin on FL Studio 12. Um, I did a video on it before, but a lot of people are saying they don't understand, or, or like that tutorial sucked or whatever. So I'm gonna redo it today. Um, should be good. Um, we're gonna go on my computer. I'm gonna uninstall it, I'm gonna reinstall it, and put the skin on it and show you exactly how to do it and walk through it and talk to you guys. Cause the last one I didn't talk at all. Um, but yeah, hopefully uh, this will be fun for you guys. But uh, anyway, if you do like the video, make sure you leave it a like. Don't forget to comment on anything. I should do in the future. Don't forget to share the video as well. Don't forget. Um, you can still download my um, you can still download download my sound kit bundle from my website. The link is in the description. It's free. It's got over I want to say 30 sounds in it. Or yeah, no, it's got over like 25 sounds or drums sounds. Um, it's got a whole bunch of different midis, Nexus presets, and Nexus skins. So you guys do not want to miss out on that. So go ahead, and download that. Link in the description. Um, to subscribe join docs gang you know how it is and don't forget to turn on post notifications because we got a whole bunch of bangers coming on the way you guys do not want to miss it got live streams gonna be i've decided to um use my live streams to review my beats so um if you don't want to miss a live stream and you want to get your beat reviewed by me make sure you turn on post notifications because i mean who knows maybe i'll check your beat out all right so uh, yeah um let's get to this video i'll see you guys on my computer all right, you guys are back on my computer and this is just my desktop. So, when you download the skin, you have to remember this only works on FL Studio 12.5, 0 0.1, 0 0.5. Not 12.3, not 12.9, not FL Studio 20. 12.5, 1.5. So many people be asking me, will it work on this? Only works on this one. All right, so I'm gonna open up FL Studio real quick. See, this is what it looks like without skin. And yeah, see, normal skin. All right, when you download it, I'm just having it on my desktop. Uh, here's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get this zip file, the black skin. Open it up. I'm just gonna extract it to the desktop just for easy use, or easy, uh, find it easily. So it's gonna be right here. Extracted it. Now, it's gonna come with these files and whatnot. You don't have to worry about this. You don't have to worry about this. Just worry about these four folders. This folder is, I don't think, you, I'm not, you don't have to worry about that. Worry about these top four folders, okay? Only those four. So what we're gonna do is open up another explorer on our, okay, so I'm just gonna do Windows E to open up another explorer. I'm gonna put these side by side. I'm just putting them side by side so I can just drag and drop. That's all, that's all I'm doing, okay? Okay. So, when you open up this folder, all you're gonna do is get, where is it? Okay, now what we're gonna do is open up this FL engine patch, whatever. So it's gonna give you three different versions of it. I always choose a third one. Um, so what you're gonna do is find this file that's been installed from FL Studio. So what you're gonna do is go find your image line folder which is should be in program 86 file program 86 x86 you go to image line right here you go to fl12 and then you replace this file or you place this file with this one so literally just i'm just going to copy and then paste here replace and then go back back okay and then okay here all right, now next we're gonna replace this plugin manager exe file. So what you're gonna to go to is system, and you go to tools, plugin manager, and then there it is. You copy this, and then replace it, and you go back to plugins. Same thing over here. So what you're doing is literally just matching the directories. That's all you're really doing. It's not that hard. Go to plugins on this, which is where the skin is, and this is your 
FL Studio install file. This left part is your FL Studio install file. And then skin data, because you download it, is over on the right, obviously. So you go to your plugins folder, which is here. Open up Fruity, and then just copy these. Literally just copy these folders and then paste them in here. And then it should have all of the files still. So yeah, you just copy and then it does the rest. All that free wrapper and stuff. Um, next, set grid color. You wanna add all, of the, you wanna click this. This is, okay. Click them and then you install them. Click yes. All it does is change the actual color of the piano roll and the playlist, I think. So when you do that, you should be good. And go back to. And actually, no. I think that's it. I think that's about it. Now, oops. Let me open up FL Studio just to make sure it's good. And there you have it. FL Studio is now with the. What's it called? The black skin. Now it's working all nicely and all that. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. Don't forget to turn on post notifications. Oh my God, what am I doing? If you like the video, make sure you leave a like. Don't forget to leave comments on videos that you do in the future. Mm, and also don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos or live streams. All right, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.